Mani Metzger, CEO of LCX. You're here in Davos, Switzerland for World Economic Forum. Thanks for joining us on Blockchain Journal. Thanks for having me. Okay, so uh, Liechtenstein sounds like one of the few countries that has regulations in place. So you found a way to operate your company uh, using blockchain technology uh, in a way that complies with those regulations? That's right. We moved to Liechtenstein particularly to found the company 2017 and then we incorporated 2018. And since then we acquired nine registrations according to the Blockchain Act in Liechtenstein, which is uh, like not only regulating one piece of the puzzle, but the whole value chain of blockchain and crypto. So there we are starting as a new, I would say, next generation of crypto exchange and a new category leader for the future of blockchain finance. Blockchain banking is about the future of money and finance. So it's all about the balance between innovation, regulation, and how our future of everyday lives will change due to digital money. But it's also covering the balance between the revolution, you know, the um, people who think money should be freed up from the state. And on the other side, we see development where central banks totally want to get control over every digital money with central bank digital currencies. What's up, guys? LCX is pumping. Not pumping super hard. It was up like 30% last night. Cooled off a little bit, up 20% right now. But nonetheless, this is pretty good because Bitcoin's uh, consolidating, Ethereum's consolidating, Ethereum's dipping, Caspa finally dipping, which seemed like a never-ending pump. But LCX is up. It's one of the few green bubbles we see, and for good reason. So um, one of my Discord members recently reached out to Monty and asked him about uh, how he felt about being called a security a while back by the SEC. They never uh, emphasized that claim again, by the way. But uh, Monty was talking about how um, they're not in the U.S. and how they're compliant and following the regulatory guidelines over, you know, overseas. He responded right away, which is what you want to see in a leader. But he also said in a different post that something uh, big is coming out in a couple weeks. He said, so this came out two weeks ago, and he said in about four weeks something big is coming out. Now, I don't want to speculate as to why uh, LCX is going up right now. If any of you guys know, let me know in the comments. I was checking Twitter. I couldn't find much about it. But nonetheless, this is a great spike to see. And LCX, you know, if they really become a blockchain bank or they tokenize, you know, stocks and bonds, which it does seem like they're doing, and they get this enterprise adoption, they get more clients, you're going to see this exchange blow up. And when the exchange grows, guess what else is going to grow? The token. And it's funny because, you know, LCX, it's one of my lowest viewed videos on this channel. I do not just make these videos to get views. And I do get some questions, you know, where can you buy it? So I have it on Coinbase. I do understand it's not really on any big exchange. I think that's also why it doesn't get a lot of views because a lot of people don't have it or aren't holding it because it's not really mainstream yet. Like if you go on Etherscan, right? Less than 20K holders still. So it's very possible to be a whale with this crypto. And that's the thing, you know, if you're trying to become a whale with the uh, XRP or, uh, I don't know, Cardano or Ethereum, it's very unlikely. You got to have like millions and millions of dollars because they're already mainstream. LCX, it is an older crypto. Yes, it had, it did have a bull cycle prior, but less than 20K holders shows me that we're still super early to this crypto. And also you got to factor in the market cap, guys. Even with this bump up, it's only a 50 million market cap has pretty low inflation and a pretty scarce supply under a billion. They originally had a billion, then they burned 50 million of it, and now they have 950 million fixed supply. I am really bullish on LCX. I went pretty heavy into it a while ago with Quant. When I saw it rise up to 16 cents, uh, I took profits at like 13 cents, and then I bought back in when it dipped down to like 4 cents. So my average is pretty good for LCX. And I'm not telling you guys to click off and buy. You never want to buy on a green day. You always want to buy on a red day, ideally. But let this be a forewarning to the potential of LCX, right? If they become a blockchain bank, if they come out with their own blockchain, which is what they want to do, if they, you know, keep talking about their rumor collaboration with JP Morgan and Chase, a top bank, which I understand people don't like, but we're here to make money, right? You're going to see LCX blow up way past a dollar. And just getting to a dollar is a 20x. I think the potential for LCX, this bull cycle, is even greater than that. I am super bullish on this crypto. 
I think the exchange will get more exposure. You know, we're seeing a lot of uh, exchanges come out. I know they just came out with, I think it's called EDX, which is like a Bitcoin only exchange. We are seeing more exchanges come out, but especially overseas where FTX collapsed, Celsius collapsed, Voyager collapsed. I do see another exchange taking some of that market share. And I think LCX could definitely be that one. Listen, if they're compliant, and following the regulatory guidelines, it's going to increase the likelihood for whales and institutions to trust them, to want to use them. And I see they came out with an LCX earn program, which is like 7% yield. I'm not too crazy about the earn program because I, I, I from a Gemini experience, I, I just, you know, I mean, hopefully they got a better uh, business model for that earn. I didn't look too deep into it, but the way Gemini handled it was a massive failure. So Hopefully that's better. But nonetheless, people are going to look to them for that yield. You are going to see enterprises and institutions use them, especially if they tokenize stocks and bonds and stuff. So the potential for enterprise adoption is definitely there. And also, if they become more intuitive, but they get more of an interface like uh, a Robinhood or a Coinbase or a Binance, ideally, you could see retail also come on board. So the potential for this token is definitely there, guys. And it's a micro cap that's listed on Coinbase. And I think that also draws a lot of conflict. They're like, oh, I already got listed on Coinbase. There's no pump. I mean, when you check the all-time chart, right, the chart is not that bad. So it went to 68 cents. It's down 10x now. For a micro cap, that's not bad at all. I think there's a, another big pump coming for LCX. You know, I'm hoping it can, you know, pump to 15 cents again. That'd be great to see. I could take more profits if that's the case. And, you know, the only reason why I'm taking a low profits, by the way, is because I just want to lower my average a little bit. I'm not trying to sell my bag and buy back in. That's just trading, and that's a little hard to do properly. I've been there, done that. Very hard to trade. You know, swing trading is a very hard emotional game. So be very careful if you are trading your crypto right now. I do also notice that a lot of people don't like LCX because of their association with the World Economic Forum. I totally get where these people are coming from. They say it goes against crypto, just like a quant with CDBCs and XRP. I understand that, but I'm just an investor trying to make money. I really don't care where that investment's coming from. If I make a million dollars from a meme coin or a million dollars from Bitcoin or XRP, it's a million dollars to me, and I'm going to take my money and put it in the bank. So I really don't care. So if you have any concerns about that, you just got to ask yourself, you know, why are you investing? Are you just a true enthusiast? and just wants to invest into, you know, decentralized cryptos that aren't working with the World Economic Forum, that's totally fine. But if you're trying to make some money, you got to follow where some of this big money is going, right? And a lot of the big money is in the World Economic Forum. And if the institutions are going to use a certain crypto or business, you probably want to be there first so you can catch some of the coattails of these profits. So just my personal opinion, obviously LCX is not going to be for everybody, but I do believe it's only a matter of time before it rocket ships further and reaches that dollar plus mark. And by then you're going to see a lot of retail investors jump in and I'll be taking profits and, you know, sell my bag for them. But listen, less than 20K holders it goes to show you how early we are to LCX. But now I want to hear from you. Are you holding LCX? And if so, where do you see its price by the end of the bull cycle? Let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.